Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about the box plot. Even before I demonstrate uh, what exactly is a box plot and how is it useful, may I request you to subscribe to my channel and like and share my videos. As you can see here, this is how a box plot appears. A box plot gives you five important elements. It's also called as the five number statistics. What are these five different elements that a box plot highlights? The box plot gives you the minimum, maximum. Thirdly, it gives you the first quartile. Fourthly, it gives you the median value. And lastly, it also gives you the third quartile. So these are the five important elements which a box plot highlights. Why is this called as a box plot? As you can see here, you have a prominent box here. And these vertical lines below the box as well as above the box are compared to a man's whiskers. So that's the reason as to why we call this plot as box and whiskers plot. As you can see here, there is a horizontal line below the box. This particular horizontal line indicates the minimum value. At the other end, you have a horizontal line above the box plot. That indicates the maximum line. So the one, the, the line which is below the box plot indicates the minimum. The line which is above the box plot highlights the maximum value. Now, let's focus on the box itself. The best way to understand this box is to compare this particular box to the room that you're living in. The room that you're living in has a floor as well as a roof. You can compare this with the floor and this with the roof. Now, when you look at the floor, this highlights the first quartile or the 25th percentile value. Then at the other end, that is the roof, you can see what is called as the third quartile whose value is 18.5. You have the first quartile as well as the third quartile. You may also have noticed a line which cuts the box into two boxes. This line which cuts the box into two is what is called as the median or the second quartile. So this is how a box plot gives us five important statistics, minimum, first quartile, median, third quartile, and maximum. To understand this in greater detail, let me show you the raw data set which I have used to construct this particular box plot. Let me scroll to the left side. You can see here, this is the raw data set which I have taken. I have taken the marks obtained by students of nine students. So these are the nine different students and their marks is shown here. Using this raw data, I have calculated the summary statistics. The minimum is pretty simple to understand, which is the least marks obtained by the student. The lowest mark is 12. The maximum again is very easy to understand, which is the highest marks obtained by a student. Here it is 20. Next, let's focus on the median, which is also popularly called as the 50th percentile or the second quartile. What exactly is the median? A median is a measure of central tendency. Once you sort the observations in either ascending or descending order, the central value or the middlemost value is what gives us the median. In this data set, the median value of marks is 16. Moving on, let's look at what is called as the 25th percentile or the first quartile. The formula to calculate the 25th percentile is n plus 1 by 4th term. I repeat, n plus 1 by 4th term. What is n? n is nothing but the sample size. And I'm substituting 9 here because we have a sample of 9 students. So it is 9 plus 1 by 4th term, which is 2.5th term. So when you look at the 25th percentile, it's a value which lies between the second and the third term. In the raw data, the second student has scored 13 and the third student has scored 14. So our first, sorry, our first quartile is a value which 
lies in between 13 and 14. So when you take the average of 13 and 14, what you get is 13.5. So this is our 25th percentile value or the first quartile. Next, what we have is the 75th percentile. Now, it, this is nothing but 3 by 4 times n plus 1 term. n is 9 as before. When you substitute and simplify, you'll be getting this as 7.5th term. So the 75th percentile value lies between the 7th and the 8th term. As you can see here, the 7th student has scored a marks of 18 and the 8th student has scored a marks of 19. So since the 75th percentile value lies between 18 and 19, we can go on to take the average here. That average value is 18.5. So what we have done in summary statistics is to compute five most important and elementary statistics, namely the minimum, maximum, median, 25th percentile, and 75th percentile. Now these values is what the box plot is plotting. As you can see here, the minimum value is 12. This is what the summary statistics also tells me that the least marks is 12. Then the maximum marks is 20. This is the maximum mark, which is 20. The median value is 16. As I told you, the line which cuts the box into two portions is the median. The median value is 16. The 25th percentile or the first quartile value is 13.5. And this is the value the floor of the box reports the first quartile value of 13.5. Lastly, what you have is the 75th percentile, which is given by the roof of the box, which is the third quartile value as 18.5. So this is how a box plot is very, very useful, especially when you're doing preliminary investigation of the data. John Tukey is the person who proposed the box plot, and it is widely used in exploratory data analysis. With this, I have come to the end of today's video. I hope you have liked this particular video. I request you to like, share, and subscribe to my videos. Thank you very much. Have a great day.